my brothers and sisters. Today we are going to consider the prayer for peace. Almighty God, kindle, we pray, in every heart the true love of peace. And guide us with your wisdom, those who take counsel for the nations of the earth that in tranquility your dominion may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. My sisters and brothers, when you think of peace, I wonder what comes to your mind. When you have peace of heart, even if everything around you seems to be upside down. When you have peace of mind, a decision that you have to make and you just feel settled that you are following the right course of action. And then there's the peace that radiates in every cell of your fiber and being, where you just have such a level of, of relaxation and of serenity, uh, just a sense of just total release. And you're not allowing yourself to be distressed by anything. One of the meditation exercises is to begin to be conscious from your scalp all the way down to your toes. Uh, with some of them, it's, you tense that area and then you release or just be conscious of that particular part of the body, or just be aware, what is it that's happening inside of you? Or look around you and see all the wonderful things that there are to admire and to look at. Today, I was able to do a little transplanting. Uh, There's some baby impatience that are coming up. And so before the grass is cut again, I just removed them and put them in some pots in the shade where they hopefully will make it through the summer. And so there was a sense of peace uh, that I acted uh, wisely and I acted in a timely manner because I never know when the gardener may be able to come or somebody else will come and attend to the garden. And then I will regret that I didn't remove the plants when I had thought of it. And so how to take advantage of opportunities to be in the moment, to respond to the call of the moment, and then to be able to relax and know that you did the best you could with the thought that you had. And so I invite you, my sisters and brothers and all the others, I invite you to think about how to be at peace, how to bring peace, how to restore peace, how to celebrate peace, how to radiate peace. God bless you.